Conversion operators have the following properties. Conversions declared as implicit occur automatically when it is required. Conversions declared as explicit require a cast to be called. All conversions must be declared as static. We'll discuss the static keyword in an upcoming tutorial. Let's illustrate this with an example. So we are going to write a simple application that converts a user's input, which will be a measurement expressed in meters. We'll then output the converted value to the console screen. As you know from the last tutorials, all value types in C-sharp are implemented as structs. A struct is like a class in that it is a collection of related types, properties, events, and methods. The main difference is that a struct is a value type and a class is a reference type. You also don't need to instantiate or create an object from a struct using the new keyword, like you do when instantiating a class. So we are going to create a user-defined struct and we'll name it Imperial Measurement. The struct will be used to convert the entered metric measurement in meters to the equivalent Imperial Measurement in feet. So I'll create a public field and name this feet. This public field will be used to retrieve the converted value from the object created from this struct. We need to make provision for a fractional value, so we'll define this public field as float. We'll then create a constructor, and this will accept one parameter, which will also be defined as the float data type. The code in the constructor will assign the parameter passed into the constructor to the public field named feet. Now we need to create a static method that will be used to perform the explicit conversion operation from the entered value in meters to a converted value expressed in feet. So this method must be static, and because we first want to demonstrate an explicit user-defined conversion, we must use the explicit keyword. We must include the keyword operator. Then we must give this method the same name as the class in which it resides. The parameter passed into this method will be a whole number value, which will be the value expressed in meters. The code in this method contains a simple formula using the float literal value 3.28, Notice there is an F suffix at the end of this literal value. This is because if this is not included, the C-sharp compiler will infer that this type is of the double type. This will cause a compile time error because we are assigning the result of a mathematical operation to a variable defined as a float. The result of the mathematical operation is assigned to a float defined variable named conversion result. We then instantiate a new object derived from the same struct where the method resides, i.e. the imperial measurement struct and we use the imperial measurement structs constructor to pass in the newly converted value. Let's write the code that will consume this struct and perform the function of this application, which is to take the user's input, which is expressed in meters and convert it. The result is then written to the console screen. We first prompt the user to enter a whole number value in meters. We then use the console class's readLine method to retrieve this value from the user. The returned string from the readLine method is converted to an integer using the convert helper classes to int32 method. We then perform our explicit conversion on the user's entered value. By defining a variable, we'll call this im imperial measurement and assign the explicit conversion result to this variable. We then output the value that was entered by the user in the metric measurement of meters as a newly converted imperial measurement. So let's run this code. We'll enter the value in meters. Let me demonstrate how we can enable the imperial measurement struct to implicitly convert the integer value input. Let's see what happens if we remove the explicit conversion code that explicitly converts the integer defined variable to the imperial struct. Okay, as you can see, this results in a compile time error. So to remove this error, we must change the imperial measurement conversion operation method by including the implicit keyword instead of the explicit keyword. Let's test this. And as you can see, the same result is outputted to the screen. We have successfully enabled the implicit conversion from an int defined variable containing the number of meters entered by the user to our user defined type, imperial measurement. Please hit the thumbs up icon if you feel you have gained value from viewing this tutorial and please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please hit the bell icon to be notified of future content, which will be coming soon. I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.